Well, imagine you wake up this morning, tune into NBC Action News to get a check of the weather, but then find yourself watching our two hour St. Jude Dream Home giveaway. And then by noon, just two hours later, you're the new unsuspecting owner of a new $425,000 house. Pretty unbelievable. It's exactly what happened to a Shawnee woman today. St. Jude saved my life, so. 15-year-old Jake is the reason why this woman, Marjorie Fisher, a woman who's never met Jake, was all smiles today. You can see down there in the corner, it was a little after 10.30 when Jake, a former St. Jude brain cancer patient, came on TV and bravely talked about his winning battle over the once cancerous tumor. That's when Marjorie, watching from her home in Shawnee, says she began to cry. It just touched me, it just brought me to tears, and I just walked over to pick up the phone and make a donation. $100 in hopes to help others succeed like Jake, and a small chance at a new $425,000 home in Raymore. Less than two hours later, Marjorie heard her name announced on TV. Am I dreaming? Am I losing my mind? A few hours later, she and her husband, oh my gosh, I'm there? still shaking, no. walked into their new home in Raymore, stunned. This was the first time she had ever seen her new home, built for free by Summit Homes. Wow. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh, it's gorgeous. A gorgeous new kitchen, winding staircase, huge master bedroom, a laundry upstairs, and roomy bath. Look at this bathroom. <laughs> you have your own sink. <laughs> It's still sinking in. She says St. Jude, the Catholic patron saint of hospitals, hopeless and lost causes, has helped her out of a few hard spots in life. Whenever I would have a dark moment, yeah. if I would pray to St. Jude, it seems like it, through his intercession, it, it turned things around. Yeah, you think so? Yeah, it, boy, turned it, things yeah, it turned things around for her, and mm -hmm. it has turned things around for so many people, and all you have to do is look at faces like Jake and mm -hmm. so many of the people that you and I talked to over the last few weeks yeah, so, and, uh, and connected just, to the hospital. And they're just incredible kids. They have great outlooks. I talked with one uh, gentleman. He was also on the show this morning. His name was Dylan, and uh, he just had the most mellow, low-key attitude. And then when I talked to him, he had done the most amazing things. He was friends with celebrities, and he was one of the most popular kids mm -hmm. at his school is just a wonderful kid. Yeah, and they seem to brush it off. They're resilient, yeah, aren't they? We yeah, can learn we can a lot learn from them. A lot. <laughs>